Hi everyone, my name is Parul. Welcome to my channel Parul English Lab. In this video, I'll tell you how to use the words because and because of in different sentences. So, let's start our today's video. First word is because. Now first, let's look at the pronunciation. There are two syllables in this word be, cuz. Now the second syllable can be cuz or cause. So if you say because or because, they both are correct. It is up to you how you want to pronounce this word. So because and because. Now let's understand when do we use because. Because is a conjunction and we very well know that a conjunction is used to join two words, two phrases and two clauses or sentences. So here this conjunction because is used to connect two clauses. It always introduces clause of reason or cause. It answers the question why. Now let's look at some examples. He took a leave because he had some important work. So why did he take a leave? What's the reason? The reason is he had some important work. So he took a leave because he had some important work. Now you can use because at the starting of the sentence also. Because he had some important work, he took a leave. So here both the sentences are correct and the meaning is same. There's no difference. But when you write it, then there's a difference. So when you are using because in the middle of the sentence, then you do not need a comma in the sentence. For example, he took a leave because he had some important work. So in this sentence, we do not need a comma. Now let's look at the other sentence. Because he had some important work, comma, he had to take a leave. Now when you use because at the starting of the sentence, then after this clause, there will be a comma. Because he had some important work, comma, he had to take a leave. So this is the only difference. Otherwise, the meaning is same. You can use because in the middle of the sentence or at the beginning of the sentence. And please keep one thing in mind. When we use because, we focus on the reason. Should we meet on Saturday? No. Let's meet tomorrow because I've got an important meeting on Saturday. So why can't you meet on Saturday? Because I have an important meeting on Saturday. So let's meet tomorrow because I have an important meeting on Saturday. Sometimes people shorten because to cause in informal writing or speaking. This is very, very informal. Like, I'm dancing cause I'm happy. So this means I'm dancing because I'm happy. So if you come across any such sentence, so you should know its meaning. Next is because of. Because of is a two word preposition and that means as a result of. Now let's look at some examples. The train was delayed because of the bad weather. So here, if you notice, after because of, we always have a noun or a pronoun because it's not a conjunction, it's a preposition. And we always have a noun or a pronoun after a preposition. So that's why we always have a noun or a pronoun after because of. So the train was delayed because of what? Because of something, because of bad weather. My grandmother gets tired because of her old age. So, as a result of her old age. So, this is what it means as a result of. My grandmother gets tired because of her old age. He had to leave the match because of injury. Again, the injury is a noun. He had to leave the match as a result of injury or because of injury. You are going to the party because of your friends. So, here your friends, this is a pronoun. So you are going to the party because of your friends. So this way we use because of in different sentences and because of is always followed by a noun or a pronoun because it's a preposition, it's not a conjunction. Sometimes we also use just because or simply because just to put more emphasis to the sentence 
and when we use just because or simply because so that means for a simple reason or for a single or a simple reason now let's look at some examples she is anxious just because her teacher might scold her so for a simple reason that her teacher might scold her she is anxious so she is anxious just because her teacher might scold her or she is anxious simply because her teacher might scold her so here in this sentence we are putting more emphasis uh, to this sentence and that's why we have used just because or simply because this means for a simple reason this is such a small reason and that's why you are anxious so you don't have to be anxious for such a small reason so this is what it means you're anxious just because your teacher might scold you now you can also use just because or simply because at the starting of the sentence just because her teacher might scold her it doesn't mean that she should get anxious so here you can use it doesn't mean that so just because for a simple reason that your teacher might scold you it doesn't mean that you should get anxious just because your friend wants to take a leave it doesn't mean that you should also skip the school or simply because your friend wants to take a leave it doesn't mean that you should also skip your school just because your friend is going there it doesn't mean that you can also go there in this kind of sentence it is optional so you can also frame it like just because your friend is going there doesn't mean that you should also go there or you can also go there so it is up to you whether you want to use it or not simply because you're a great dancer doesn't mean that you can look down on others or you should look down on others or you look down on others i don't want to join their team just because i don't like them or i don't want to join their team simply because i don't like them so for a simple reason or for a single reason i don't like them that's why I don't want to join their team. So this way you can also use simply because or just because which means for a single reason or for a simple reason. So that's all for today. I hope you understood when to use because and when to use because of or simply because or just because. So please revise and try to make some more sentences and please like and subscribe to my channel Parole English Lab and don't forget to press the bell icon for future notifications. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day. Thank you for watching my videos. If you find them helpful, please like and share with your friends. Feel free to leave comments. Do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive a notification for the new videos. Thank you. Take care and have a great day.